Hey guys, Toys of Primus here with a surprise toy hunt video from Target. I know, it's been a while since I've done a toy hunt video. Um, toy hunting has not really been fun for me lately, and that's why I just prefer to get toys offline now instead of actually going to the store. But I've been watching a few other toy hunting videos, and people have been finding a lot of new things at Target, so I was like, you know what? I might take a little drive over there early on, earlier on tonight and uh, see what's happening. <laughs> Obviously, this is um, later on in the night now. Uh, after I left the store, I'm doing some voiceover commentary. And um, yeah, some new DC Multiverse figures from McFarland Toys. Got some new Blue Beetle stuff that are out. They look really cool. Um, I've actually been collecting a lot of... DC Multiverse toys this year. Um, it's because of DC Multiverse is why I've been taking a break from collecting Marvel Legends lately. Uh, McFarlane's got my full attention. Also, I've been collecting a lot of uh, NECA Team NT stuff lately. So here's a random Ultron I found. It comes with a cool looking mech T-Rex or mecha T-Rex that you can actually attach to Ultron's body as armor. It looks super awesome. It's from like their mech strike line. I think it was like really expensive, so that's why I decided to leave it there. Um, yeah, I did not pick up any of the Marvel stuff. I was just browsing through them because I noticed with the Marvel toys from Hasbro, they tend to go on sale or discount a lot on places or on retailers such as Amazon or Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, case in point, the entire wave of the Retro Fantastic Four figures, all six figures on sale currently for 50 bucks on big bad toy store as soon as i saw that deal on twit on well it's called x now but basically twitter <laughs> um yeah i saw the the sale for 50 bucks on twitter and i was like whoa okay now i have to i mean i i there's i have no reason not to buy that set now because i've been passing on that fantastic four set for the longest time uh, and here are some of the newer Marvel Legends figures that Hasbro currently released. Some new two packs. Uh, I really want that classic Hawkeye with the Sky Cycle, but these two packs are listed for $60 each. I was like, yikes, yikes. So that's basically like what? If you get two of those, two of those sets, right? That's basically comes out to like around $120, $124 maybe. So uh, I think I'll just wait for a sale. Eventually, I will buy that Hawkeye, um, add him to the Marvel Legends collection, which I have been slacking on for the past few months because, as I mentioned before, I've been collecting a lot of DC Multiverse toys and uh, NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys and some of the Super 7 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys as well. Uh, the last Marvel Legends figure I collected was Cyclops from the X-Men animated line. And uh, as you can see, they have brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem toys from Playmates Toys. And um, I'm just recently buying some of those because this year I've been all about the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. Because uh, they've, been they've been putting out some cool stuff this year based off the uh, Mirage comics. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm a NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja, a NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan now. But um, as you can see, I am picking up Raph. I also have two other turtles already from a different retailer. I'm not going to say which turtles they are, but Raph will be my third one that I added. And if you guys would like to see a review on those turtles, let me know. And I'll upload a video of that in the future. So I'm just browsing through all the different Mutant Mayhem figures they have out. And uh, there's Superfly, the villain of the movie. Um, by the way, I have not seen this movie yet. I think I'm just waiting until it comes out uh, for video on demand. But when it comes to the figures, I don't need to see the movie to know that I'm going to like the figures. Because <laughs> um, I, do, I do like the designs of the turtles this time around. Oh, at least the action figures, they look a lot better than uh, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures from last the last iteration of the Turtles. So I picked up Superfly for a brief two minutes. <laughs> 
And you'll see why is because I spotted some of the vintage figures. Spotted classic Leatherhead there and classic Wingnut and Screwloose. And um, yeah, I was really eyeballing that Wingnut there because when I was a kid, I never had that Wingnut figure. Obviously, I had all four of the Turtles and Shredder, uh, some variations of the Turtles in different costumes and some of the different mutants, but I never had Wingnut. So I picked up Superfly from my cart and I was like, hmm, should I buy it? Should I not buy it? I was like, you know what? Mm, I think I'll put it back. <laughs> I'll put it back and leave it for the next collector or uh, the next kid who wanders down the aisle with their parents and, you know, they want a Superfly figure and they'll easily find one. And towards the, the end, by the end cap there, there were some weird Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle gummy candy shaped like pizza. I did not buy any, but they caught my attention, that's for sure. I was like, this looks kind of cool. I kind of want to try them. Almost did. Almost did, but decided not to. Maybe another time. Another time I might pick them up and try them out. But yeah, a lot of cool items are out from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Mutant Mayhem line. Um, like I said, I do like the designs of the turtle action figures this time around. More, way more than the uh, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Uh, they look a lot better. Look more like they should, I guess. <laughs> um... And I think the only ones I'm looking to collect from this line, well, besides the four turtles, are maybe Splinter and Superfly at some point. And that's it. I think that's, yeah, that's going to be my cutoff point. Just the four turtles, the main villain of the film, and Splinter, and that's it. Um, and then I'm good. Uh, really don't like the redesigns of the mutants, at least in their action figure form. I uh, don't really care for the special like motorcycle sets and they have a special um, six pack, I think. Yeah, it's a six pack. Comes with all four of the turtles, Bebop, or no, it's a, is it a five pack? Hold on. Four turtles, Bebop, and April O'Neil. So yeah, it, it was a six pack. I think that's currently selling for like 50, 50 to 60 bucks. Um, and if you want an April O'Neil, uh, you're going to have to get that six pack because she's not sold in a, in a single carded box. And, um, I'm just recording some of the Legos here for any fans of Legos. There's a cool Spider-Man No Way home set. Comes with all three Spider-Mans, all of the villains, and Doctor Strange. And I think it includes Ned and MJ. Most likely super expensive, <laughs> just like every other Lego set. But uh, anyways, going back to what I was saying, um, yeah, there's a six pack out with April O'Neil, Bebop, and all four of the Turtles. Um, there's also a cool sewer layer playset, but I have no interest in it because I already have a secret sewer layer playset from Rise of the Te Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I still love that playset. <laughs> It's a gigantic playset, and plus, that playset I have is compatible with just about any version of Ninja Turtles, um, except for maybe the NECA stuff. But you know, if you get any any of the Playmates uh, Playmates toy stuff, yeah, you can pretty much put your turtles with that playset. Uh, all right, so that's about it for this video. Just wanted to surprise you guys with a surprise toy hunting video. I did not pick up a lot. Just that Raphael and vintage Wingnut and Screwloose. And uh, I only need one more turtle. But yeah, see you later. Cowabunga.